His name is Matt Holt. Okay, there you go. First rule of stand-up comedy, always come on with a big opener. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't bottle it. Hello, Lester. I must say you're looking fantastic tonight. I did buy this, especially for this evening. There's some funny clothes shops in Leicester, isn't there? I said to the lady, I've entered the stand-up challenge at Leicester's oldest theater. She said, why? I said, that's the one. And I need some headwear befitting that fine tradition of British music hall comedy. She said, bowler hat. I said, sorry. She said, bowler hat. I said, well, a hat, obviously, because the bowl's gonna look ridiculous. <laughs> it's for charity, you can't get your money back. <laughs> and then some joker sold me these. So I was walking down the road, breaking them in, and this bloke shouts, big issue, sir. I said, no, they had bigger ones. Keep up. <laughs> and I nearly sprained my ankle getting money out of a cash machine. I put my card in and it said balance on screen, which is hard to do in, in these shoes. Although I think I am losing my eyesight a bit. I went to one shop, I said, can I have some sausages, please? He said, this is a bookshop. Should have gone to Specsavers. So I went to Specsavers and they didn't have any sausages either. <laughs> I was nearly late getting here. I had to sign for a parcel because my postman is deaf. <laughs> I'll wait. <laughs> Second rule of stand-up comedy. When you're performing on stage, don't forget to take your hand out of your pocket. <laughs> anyway, Lester, what's in the bag? What's in the bag? Come on! What's in the bag? What's in the bag? What's in the bag? What's in the bag? I did warn you. Well, it's funnier than this. That's just a throwaway comment. Now, I have got my tea in here for tonight. I just need the rest of the letters now. I'm not gonna spell it out for you. My wife said to me, this weekend, I'd like to binge on a cereal box set. So I bought her a Kellogg's variety pack. I'm not very good at entertaining my wife though. I showed her Octopus Monopoly. I showed her Octopus Cluedo. I showed her octopus top trumps. She said, no, I want to see squid games. <laughs> and the lady in the shop said to me, would you like a bag for life, sir? I said, yeah, go on then. And when I took it from her, she died. Level. It's a spirit level. I did write a book on poltergeist. It flew off the shelves. Anyway, a bit of variety for you now. Who knows how to operate glove puppets? Stick your hand up. No, oh, stick your hand up. All the way from Lapland, I'd like to introduce you now to my little friend, Rudolph. It's just a silly idea. Anyway, come on. I'd like to finish now with this musical number. Just in case you're thinking, what's that for? I did write a beautiful song on my ukulele, but it appears to have rubbed off. Always use a Sharpie. 
But here's one you all know you can all join in with. Here we go. In the shower, in the shower, in the shower, in the shower, in the shower. Come on, everybody. In the sh I can't be the only one in here that likes singing in the shower. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>